And people love Keenan here. All right, we got it wrong. He actually is way older. He's 22, not 21, Jeff. Oh, that makes me feel better, Kenny. <laughs> ready? Oh, Shake man, to be 22 again. There we go, Drop man. Roll. And as expected, there's the guard pull from Keenan Cornelius. Has to have one of the most frustrating guards in the world, Jeff. Look oh, at here this. we go. He, he inverts immediately, starts looking for this grip. I was watching him in one of his warm-ups earlier. He was working this position, trying to uh, he was using it to set up heel hooks. Uh, he was sharing this with uh, Dean Lister, actually. And uh, you I see, he's that. got that foot in there. Dean picking his brain a little bit got now. Him that 50 pretty quick trying to there. Get him that 50-50 guard. And we saw Keenan Cornelius win his last match at Metamorphs with this same position. Went with that inside heel hook against Kevin Casey. Yes, it's a uh, very good position. Uh, Dean Lister actually calls it the 411. Uh, the 10th planet, Eddie Bravo, people call it the straddle. But it's a, it's a, instead of Keenan's left leg being over, it's like a really deep leg reap. It's like a really far reaped leg. And uh, it's a great setup for the heel hook. And Keenan is an expert with that position. Oh, we have uh, Vinny looking to get on that heel. But Keenan's legs are just so wiry, you know, and just kind of hard to hold on to. He's like a wet bar of soap. The harder you squeeze him, the further he shoots out of your hand, Kenny. That's true. Ooh, good reference. Thank Jeff. you. Thank you. I've never dropped soap in my life, by the way, just to let you know. Uh, <laughs> Keenan Cornelius, look at this, with a back take. Look at this position. Trying to get on top here. Vinny, Vinny doing his homework, just maneuvering himself in that 50-50 yes, guard very right well so far. Yeah, Keenan doing a good job. You see the, the, the weight difference. I mean, the weight, what is it? Uh, 30 pounds About or so. 30 pounds, About 30 yeah. pounds. And Keenan was able to get underneath and move uh, Vinny around over the top of him. Didn't seem to be an uh, issue for Keenan. Here we have a little De La Hiva set up there. Seeing if he could get Ke uh, Vinny's back, but Vinny was quick to drop the hips to the ground, to the mat, to shut down that opening. And then we are neutral again here back in the open guard. Get you see Vinny got those, that double ankle control. Very common nowadays, Kenny, you see uh, the yes. leg drag, where, where guys two on one an ankle and pull it up past the hip and uh, get side control back. And again, there's that reverse De La Hiva that, that Keenan was using there, where you hold the leg from the inside rather than the outside. And uh, Keenan has such a sophisticated guard, just very complex and hard to maneuver your way through that. Vinny, of course, more fundamentals, more about the basics, two very Interesting and contrasting styles here. Yeah, uh, Keenan is always trying to, uh, you know, like uh, raise the bar, if you will, mm. and, and, and develop and improve the game and, it's, and add it's... on to the game. He's, he's you know, uh, with the gi, he's developed that worm guard that everyone's been yes. talking about, and a lot of people don't even like it. They, they, it bothers a lot of people. I've heard a lot of uh, discussions and uh, hey, bye. where hey, people bye. do not like it. Oh, here we have a little calf slicer. You see the legwork is so tricky in this match, Kenny. You, got, you can't blink for a second. Here it's we have unbelievable. A... Just the, the variety of attacks from Keenan Cornelius just making things very difficult right now for Vinny Magalhães. The There's that leg reach. See, this position would get him disqualified in a normal jiu-jitsu tournament. Yeah, these submissions are legal here in Metamorphs. No position is banned. Now here we see again that deep. Oh, there's that heel hook. But dude, Vinny is not about to tap to no hey, heel hook. Geez. I will tell you right now. Vinny is not going to tap. I don't know if you remember in Abu Dhabi, uh, I believe it's 2011. His arm. His How arm. did that not break? Man, this guy does not stop. Oh, there's a very tight toe hold. Ooh. Boy, that looked painful, Kenny. Yeah, that, that may, may have finish. hurt. That may have hurt Keenan a little bit. Yeah. You can see Keenan wince. Yeah. But both men so dangerous. It's so dangerous. So quick with the leg locks. So quick to get scrambled and tangled up here. That was one of the craziest displays uh, of arm lock defense of heart from Vinny Magalhães. That that arm lock was insane. He was able to get out of it. Very it similar. Are you still Verdum? Yes, Ver, uh, Kenny. Uh, he actually went on to win that match and become the champion that year. Unreal. Yeah, you saw Dean Lister in a similar situation with Shanji Ribeiro. Yes. Get put into a very deep arm lock and escape. I've never been like that. When my arm gets bent, I tend to scream, Kenny. <laughs> That's right. I'm good. I, I kind of need my arms. I like them. Let me see the open guard here of Keenan. Very dangerous, man. I mean, he, he pulls things out. Like, within two seconds, he can have the whole uh, momentum of the, the match can be changed over with, you know, how fast Keenan attacks. Yeah, Vinny's got that game where you, you, you pretty much you know what to expect from Vinny. You know what he's going to do. It's just hard to stop him. Whereas Keenan is throwing moves at you that you may or may not have seen before. So 
Very interesting approach from both these men. Very different. And I'll tell you what, I really love the whole uh, fact that he's trying to do things that we have not seen before. Yes. I love that. I love uh, being confused. When somebody confuses me with jiu-jitsu, I know they're doing good. Absolutely. And in a match, if you're seeing something for the first time, it's hard to address that. It's hard to approach it in a right oh. way. Look at this. Keenan Cornelius trying to mix it up again. Yeah. Against Vinny. That was a killer attack he did. He didn't even reach for ankle control with the hands. That was all leg work there, Kenny. Beautiful, beautiful stuff from Keenan Cornelius. You see, Vinny wants that toe hold, man. When you, whenever somebody's holding on to the top of your foot like that, they generally are trying to set up a toe hold. You see Vinny a little frustrated with the yes. guard. Not, not easily securing the pass. Wasn't able to get that foot lock that he had in. Now he's going to have to start using that brain, that big old Brazilian brain of his, to start working past this guard. Boy, those legs are just so wiry, man, on Keenan. I mean, he's like six-something, but he's got the legs my size. Here it is, Vinny oh. going for that inside heel hook. Ooh, this is looks, trouble. That looks dangerous, dude. Very oh. tight. Oh, that's you bad. You may see a tap here. Keenan oh. trying to gut it out. Oh, goodness gracious. That had to hurt, dude. That's an escape for Keenan so far. Now he's trying to go for an inside heel hook. Oh, man, that was incredible. Dude. What an exchange. Ouch. Wow. Keenan giving the thumbs up. Looking good. What an exchange there, man. That made me cringe. That heel was Jeez. bent completely backwards, ladies and gentlemen. We talked about the heart of Vinny Magalance, but Keenan showing he's got a lot of heart as well. Well, you got to break both of these dudes' legs for, to get them to tap. Neither one of these guys are going to tap to caution. They tap to snap. Unbelievable. In a 50-50 position, we see so much in the younger generation of jiu-jitsu fighters nowadays. My man Ryan Hall made it famous. Ryan Hall oh. tearing it up for many right years side. with the 50-50 before leg. anybody could figure out what he was doing. He's a beast from this position, man. Start going to his hips. Let me see. Uh, Vinny trying to control that head, trying to get close, trying not to allow oh, oh, oh. that angle. And look at this. Oh, that heel is hooked. That heel is hooked. Let's see. Vinny is not one to tap quick, man. I, I honestly believe that for either one of these guys to tap, it's it's going to have to break. <laughs> it's, Both it's, these guys, no, they're not going to tap easy. Guys, we are witnessing, seriously, two of the best submission fighters right now going at it. I mean, exchanging subs. I mean, this is so dangerous, the position they're in. Both of them are in extreme danger right now for their feet. And calm, cool, and collected, Kenny. Yeah, and you I know? think it only took us about 90 seconds before we started to see submission attempts. These guys have been going back and forth with it. Up. Gotta love it. This is what Metamorphosis is all about. Yes, absolutely. The best of the best exchanging submissions, not exchanging advantages. Because that's what we want to see here at Metamorphosis is the submission. Gary Taunton getting the only submission of the night so far. And we break here. Back to an open guard. And 12 minutes left in the match. We've had a few legs Kenny get bent into the wrong direction so yes. far both men have had beautiful attacks near submissions watch for Keenan's right hand to reach down and and secure an ankle here he's really good with that reverse de la Hiva position and of course if his left down left hand excuse me reaches down see that right hand there's that reverse de la Hiva position he's so good yes. at Let's see what he can do with it. Turning it to a single here. leg there. Go, Trying to come back. up, turn into a basic scramble there, but Start Vinny's right on point with that. Cover He's not giving up that single leg in. easy. He's doing an excellent job of controlling the right lead, leg, sorry, of Keenan Cornelius, preventing him from swinging around and going inverted. Both guys being patient here, waiting for the right opportunity. You don't want to rush. There's, there's always a chance of gassing out, no matter how much you've worked out, how good of shape you're in. There's always a chance of overexerting yourself on any one submission and, and being exhausted. And, and like Salo said, if you're, if you're tired, and you're dead. Now, Keenan is, is an excellent guard passer as well, but would you disagree with the strategy maybe from Vinny Magalhães to, to maybe sit guard here against Keenan and avoid this Gosh, complex I, 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 guard? Would, would that be the approach that you take here? What is he supposed to do? It's like from anywhere he goes, Keenan is, is on point and, and very frustrating. I mean, he's not passing this guard. I'm sure Vinny's used to passing guards like a hot knife through butter, and it's just not happening here. You can start to see a little bit of frustration. So much experience from Keenan Cornelius. If, if I was Vinny, I would try to uh, in encourage Keenan to get back to the feet with me so that I could actually pull guard and get underneath him because, the, you know, being on top is just not happening. Interesting, yeah. Vinny needs to find a way to try to uh, get underneath Keenan 
and get back into those heel hooks. He had a lot of success with that heel hook. That was one of the uh, most. I've never seen Keenan in so much danger as I as I seen right now. Right. And uh, I, I think if, if Vinny can uh, get underneath Keenan, get in between his legs, go get Keenan, underneath the legs, throw a reap, throw a 50-50 on. There's an arm drag, shut down quickly by Vinny. Let me see this open guard. But well, Keenan looks like he would just be hard to punch too if this was like a fight. <laughs> Those long legs just keep you at bay. Again, again, let's go. You see the wrist fight here. Keenan pulling in for that single leg. He's going underneath. We got a leg reap here. Yeah. Nice base though, leg. though, from Vinny. Up oh, there it reaps over. So now he's back in a position. Kenny, I love this position personally. This heel oh, hook is just too easy. Look at the toe hole. Trouble here for Vinny. Looks like yeah. Vinny's just going to let him throw it on there and act wow. like nothing's happening. Vinny's just chilling. He's like, yeah, you have a Smile. submission, but no, you're not going to get that. Looked up and smiled at us there. Only Vinny could pull that off. <laughs> yeah. I, I would be screaming. So if my calm. Again, again, same thing. Let's go. So calm. Sit up faster. And there's the coach of Keenan Cornelius, of course, the great Hoffa Mendes. The current featherweight world champion in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Quite possibly the best pound-for-pound -pound guy in the sport. And his hair is lovely. <laughs> you like his hair. I do. Is I'm it better jealous. than mine? I'm jealous. Um, be honest. No, no. Okay, thank you. I, now I can go about my job now. You should feel good about that. All right, I feel confident now. Thank you. Look at Keenan with that foot. He, he's placing, he's starting to place the foot like directly onto the hip. Mm. Oh, here, dude, Keenan is killer with this Kimura, uh, Kenny. He was able to tap out Lucas Lech at a uh, uh, Jiu-Jitsu World Expo in 2013 or 12. He was able to throw on that Kimura, uh, switch it over into a straight arm lock, and, and do what very few people have done and submit Lucas Lech, who himself yeah. is an amazing grappler and competitor. Very impressive submission indeed, and Vinny He's was sure to keep that elbow in tight and not allow that Kimura to... Get into position there. Eight minutes. Yeah, you know, Vinny seems like uh, if there's nothing that Keenan can throw at him that he hasn't seen, and, and if there was something that he hadn't seen, he would make adjustments real quick to, to shut it down. Mm -hmm. He's a, he has an adaptable game, I would say. What do you think is the fresher fighter at this point? Gosh, that's a hard question. I mean, Keenan's been fighting off his back a little bit. Really, has been very active, but... Yeah, well, now that you say that, that he's been fighting off his back, I would definitely say the guy fighting off his back yeah. is conserving more energy. Uh, but that, that could be false. That could not be right. true. I mean, Keenan's still attacking. Look at this. This footlock X-guard. Marcelo Garcia was famous for this position here. You get that X guard, you, you tangle it up, look, and then switch into a standard X guard here with the foot up on the shoulder. Vinny trying to run away. He needs to be careful here. Keenan is so dangerous right here. Watch for him to tangle the right leg up and throw in a heel hook again. You see he's trying to get this sweep. Nice up high again. Again with that X guard. You see that bottom leg, Keenan's left leg on top of his right leg. For those of you who know the X guard, you'll understand that's one of the most important details of X guard. Vinny really trying to hold on to that head and try to yeah. prevent those legs from taking his base away here. If Keenan can get this leg over, that's what he wants. Now he's going to start moving Try to, to the back. The back yeah. Vinny well aware of this, though. You see he gets that cross face, that, that, cross face, that neck control, and it immediately shuts down the attack of uh, Keenan Cornelius. That leg is being left behind there from Vinny. Boy, that must be so hard. Like, Vinny is trying really hard to pull that leg back, you know? Can you imagine how hard Keenan is having to hold on to that? I mean, when Vinny wants to sprawl, bro, when he wants to sprawl his legs back, I mean, he's going to do it, and you're going to have yes. to really, really be strong to stop that. Very, very powerful guy. I, I imagine that Keenan is using quite a bit of muscle and energy here to contain and, and keep that leg, that right leg of uh, Vinny's in his lap. And then you see the leg up on the top. Nice little X guard sweep there by Keenan. Beautiful reversal there from Keenan Cornelius. Vinny trying to get back up. Keenan shutting it down, not letting them up. Very nice. That's an important skill too, Kenny, is when you sweep somebody, you get somebody on their back, you keep them on their back yes. to not just let them get up immediately after your sweeps. And, and Keenan just displayed that right there. And here we go, the open guard of Vinny Megalesh. And you see the scramble here. Keenan trying to put pressure on the pass. Boy, Keenan just goes for it, huh? He doesn't he really hesitate. Does, does not mess around, wants to create scrambles. But as we know, Vinny so good in those scrambles as well. There's that leg drag there from Keenan. And Vinny with a little De La Hiva of his own. Let's see what we can do. He's keeping that. You see his left foot is hooked on Keenan's right leg. That yes. See, these guys are scrambling here. 
Keenan trying to pass to that right. Oh, oh, we have a guard pass there. That was a slick. Beautiful guard, guard pass from Keenan Cornelius. Now I'm, I'm, I'm almost positive that if points were allowed, that Vinny would be scrambling his butt off right now to not give up the points. But of course here at Metamoris, no points. So I don't think uh, Vinny is sweating it too much. However, he does need to be careful. It appears as if he's in a uh, north-south uh, choke position here. Vinny doing his best to try to bridge and get back to a guard position here. But Keenan just moving to north-south, avoiding any escape from Vinny at this point. He's really sandbagging those hips, keeping those hips nice and low, not giving any space for Vinny. Vinny, look at the flexibility on Vinny, it's dude. It's unbelievable. That's unreal the way his legs bend. And we have a scramble. Oh, Keenan. Break, 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 oh, break. coming off the mat, ladies and gentlemen. Vinny, Vinny rolled off the mat, climbing back up with a smile on his face. Just casually walks back on the mat. <laughs> what an entertaining match. And these are not Kumite rules. Ready? These are not blood sport rules. If you get knocked off the mat, it doesn't mean the match is over. <laughs> this isn't sumo wrestling, guys. This isn't John claude Van Damme coming no. Yeah. There, he's rumored for the super fight, John claude <laughs> It could be the secret, the secret match. match yes. Oh man, my head would explode. But keep going, keep going. Referee brings him back to the middle. Chris Howder doing his job here tonight. Four and a half left. We've seen a lot of action. This man. has been such a fun match, on, man. Guys. Those leg locks made me cringe earlier, and then Keenan with that guard pass. I think uh, you know the crowd kind of is is feeling like Keenan has control. Yes. I think Vinny's gonna have to turn it up and do something to win the crowd's favor back here. Well, certainly positionally, you, you could argue that Keenan has certainly no, been Keenan the better man pass. here tonight, but yeah. Vinny has had some near submissions himself. Yeah, Vinny's going to have to slow him down. And, oh, gosh, what a scramble this is, man. This is such an unreal scramble. I, I, I don't know anybody that can honestly commentate what just happened there. This is why you've seen Keenan Cornelius in Metamorphs again and again. He's just nonstop action. I mean, the, as a guard passer, it's unbelievable. Now, right in the Wow. He mounted on Vinny Medios. Vinny is not happy right here, guys. With three and a half. Oh, he'll attempt a triangle. Keenan's legs are so flexible and strong and wiry. You you have to understand that Vinny is in big trouble here and needs to really, really be careful here. Keep his elbows in, keep his chin tucked, keep the keep the arms close in, not give Keenan any space. Kenny, if Keenan gets one inch on here, uh, gets an un, any bit of an underhook, Vinny is in there big trouble. Is. There's that triangle attempt. Vinny dropped that arm down, that right arm is what prevented that triangle attack, but Keenan just looking for that arm, looking for that triangle now inside control. Relentless Keenan looking up at the clock there, seeing how much time he has left. You know he wants that submission. This, if he was to get this submission on Vinny today, I mean, this would, you know, put Keenan up there as, you know, top five in the world. Has to. Even though he's already considered that. But I mean, this, this win would be huge for Keenan's career, beating Vinny, who outweighs him by 30 pounds. Yeah, Vinny is an absolute beast on the map, but Keenan right now just positionally is better. You see the 21-year-old versus the 29-year-old. Now trying to slide that knee go for Mount again just a little over two and a half minutes left in the left in the match yeah Keenan's speed has definitely been the deciding factor yeah. on his on why he's dominating this match right now you see Keenan uh, I'm sorry Vinny was not able to match the speed in the scrambles yes. and ended up getting his guard pass getting mounted and Jeff that that's great analysis right there that's exactly what the difference was you know typically when you see a guy who's trying to pass like Keenan Cornelius is, they stop after a few attempts. Keenan non-stop, just passes left, passes right, flips his hips over, and there he is going right back into that mount position. And he doesn't want to take it all the way. There it goes. I wonder if uh, Vinny's starting to tire here. We have two minutes left. I think Vinny wants to just ride the timeout and not get submitted here, which is what would be my strategy. Although it looks like that doesn't look good. That looks bad for Vinny. Keenan high up in the mount, starting to move around those arms. Hold his arm, hug his head, and hold his wrist. You're gonna block one arm. Which yes, right there. Here we go. Keenan on mount. We got a minute 26 left. Look at that wrist control, Keenan, trying to push that in for a triangle. Boy, this one minute, this last minute must feel like a lifetime for Vinny right now, man. High mounted, look at this position. This is like rubber guard from the mount that Keenan has here. You see him looking for that basic arm lock. Vinny trying to hold on here. 
Although, even if he gets that arm lock, Vinny's known to just not tap on submissions. I feel like Vinny should just let Keenan put him in that arm lock. And <laughs> it's risky, though. Vinny. Keenan truly is a special grappler, man. Something about him is just very unique, and he, he's he's so he, he's so special to the grappling world. I mean, he's he does things that are seem complex, but he makes them so, so easy. Look at this reverse triangle we have here. This is this is the lead. Look at this. Now he's both got both arms. Are in. Oh my goodness! Vinny's gonna have to get out of that. Oh yeah! <laughs> What a match, man. What a match. That was incredible, Kenny. Look at the crowd loves it. Vinny wags his finger. Uh-uh. Wow. What a match. Kenny, what a standing ovation. Unreal 20 That minutes. right there is what Metamorphs is all about. That's what Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is all about. Both of these athletes Went for it right through the beginning. Very close a couple of times. Right heel hooks, triangle attempts. All right, here we go with the replay. You see Keenan up with that really high mount. It almost looks like a rubber guard from the mount. Looking for triangles, looking for Americanas, looking for straight arm locks. Here, this was where Keen, uh, sorry, Vinny was in big trouble. The right arm's in danger, the left arm's in danger. Keenan jumping over, Vinny jumping over the body, escaping. What a scramble there. Okay, and we are going to go to Chris Howder. Ladies and gentlemen, this match was a draw. Let's have a round of applause for these two incredible warriors. And we will go to Kenny here. The official interviews.